Hello and welcome in our YouTube channel ERP SAP Team. Today we are going to discuss a very important SAP tutorial. We have received the, uh, several emails and messages regarding uh, dear team how to cancel or delete approved service entry sheet and what are the effect of this and why we need to cancel these approved service entry sheet okay so we have to categorize this question in the uh, three phase how to cancel or delete approved service entry sheet in sap why need to cancel or delete approved service entry sheet because once we approve the service entry sheet a posting an amount is uh, standing in the grir clearing account okay if we want to changes any the, any changes in the service entry sheet or the amount is uh, or the amount is uh, nullify or no further vendor invoice is going to receive then we need to cancel the service entry sheet okay to nullify the amount in the grir clearing account because grir clearing gl is a zero balance gl okay and what is the posting period during the cancellation posting period is the FICO month which is open for the posting and the SUTEL discuss with your competent authority and accounts team you need to post the cancellation document in that month okay who is authorized to cancel approved SES the approver is authorized to cancel the approved SES who have R2 role for approval okay so how to do this we will see in the practical okay we need to execute the transaction code ml81 and and uh, display the service entry sheet go in the other display the service entry sheet okay this service entry sheet is in the release mode so accepted indicator is there green indicator is there first we need to uh, click on this reverse arrow icon and cancel the r2 flag okay cancel the r2 flag okay so only two release code is there uh, once is r2 and another one is r1 okay so we need to cancel okay click on reverse arrow again and click on the r1 we we are doing both r2 and r1 activity with the compete approver login okay you can do with the initiator login this you can save this this posting period and document date posting date and document date is very important okay and this is also known as the fico period which is open so the posting is possible if the, this month is not open then posting is not possible okay a accounting document will generate okay a accounting document with generate this is the account this is the acceptance document and this is nullify the entry in the grir clearing account okay so uh, we have cancelled this so no acceptance is there so this is not the approved service entry sheet uh, we have uh, click on the delete icon and uh, now the service entry sheet is in deleted mode okay okay service entry sheet is in the deleted mode okay now the amount posted in the service entry sheet is reflecting zero value fine we have opened this purchase order okay go in the purchase order history go in the purchase order history you can see the uh, amount of the SES is zero now. See, amount of the SES is zero now. Okay, and the respective uh, FICO document is this. Okay, 
this is plus entry this is minus entry and the respective FICO document is this okay so in the GRIR clearing account this uh, entry is nullified okay And we will create new service entry sheet with respect to these services okay the meaning of the service entry sheet is you need to verify the services if you click on this document and uh, go in the document info go in the fi document and see this document entry see uh, A debit entry is in the external project clearing is there and a credit entry in the ZRIR clearing account. So need to cancel this. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.